Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Sabbath Sunday. I uh, haven't been on in a while. I have been busy making some things, but welcome to my channel. This is Amarina's Crochet and Tail. My name is Amarina. If you uh, would like, you can subscribe to my channel, like my video, and comment down below. Okay, first off, of course, you probably see these lovely towels. Let me tell you about them. Now, my mom bought some towels and brought them over. And she said half was for me and half of the towel was for her. But some of these towels I already had and I decorated. Uh, this one I already had and made up. I'm going to give to her. I have the other half. This one she bought and I de did for her. And I used this peaches and cream in gold. This was done in peaches and cream gold, but a different ball, and it's to uh, light darker than the one that this one is. Weird. And for the border, I used this white mercer mercerized cotton. Okay. Then I had these towels that this towel that was gifted to me, and uh, I cut it in half. This half has the gingerbread house on it. The other half just has the gumdrops. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything else to it. I think it's cute the way it is. You let me know down in the comments, please. And there, I used the peaches of cream gold. And then I had some cotton from a, a perch. I uh, bought some cotton uh, yarn off of somebody, and this was in there. Didn't have a ball band or anything. And it had blue, purple, green, white, uh, variated. So I just cut it, chopped it up, and used it in pieces. Okay, and then this towel. There's both halves. And this will go back to my mom. She wanted both halves, so I won't get uh, one like this. But that's okay. I'll have to buy my own and, and <laughs> get it. because uh, It's beautiful. I love it. It says blessed on it. And I love it. Now on this one. I used peaches and cream, rosemary, cotton. I uh, all these are on in cotton, using the uh, peaches and cream gold for the border. This one is a butterfly. I get half, she gets half. I already made hers up. Uh, I used the peaches and cream, cotton, and this is bright orange, and in that ball band that I showed you the blue on that one over here I told you there was green well there's the green I put it on there for the butterfly this towel I bought for Easter and I uh, cut it in half and I had the other half just sitting around uh, there's little bunnies on it I used a blue cotton that I had and the white mercerized cotton for the border and like I said, I had the other half just sitting around. Well, when she brought me her towels, I used the other half for her. And I made a um, bunny applique with this Sh Sh Shushemeyer, uh cotton. It's a, a two-weight. And I used a... 2.5 it calls for a 2.5 uh, hook size so that's what I used to make that little bunny and I used this Ann, Annie's Ann's uh, metallic for the border of the bunny I don't have the ball band I don't know what happened to it um, I used this uh, sugar and cream in the color ecru and purple for the border of it okay on this towel this is a, a towel that she bought I get I get the other half uh, use this crafters secret and the color is dark teal I use that for the top and the moisturized cotton for the border I used the teal to go with the middle of the flower there 
This one, I get the other half. And I, it says grateful and blessed. And it's so pretty. And this one, I use the Crafter Secret Turquoise. The Peaches and Cream Cotton, I bought a while back and had it handy. And she bought the Sugar and Cream Crafter Secret uh, Cottons to be put on the towels. Okay, so I, that's what I did. On um, this one, I had made these, oh, not the, the hearts, <laughs> the towel. The towels I made up a while back and needed just hanging around. I used uh, Red Heart Super Saver Red on this. Um, that's okay if you want to use acrylic yarn. But I, I found, I figured out after making these uh, cotton be best on it since it is hanging on the uh, stove around heat that I wanted to use cotton instead but for this one I uh, had it and I was like well she needs one like this and put hearts on it well, the hearts is made out of the same cotton as this uh, but what I've done is I hand dyed it with uh, food coloring. It's not the best job. I've never hand dyed anything before. But I just use a little bit of the red and let it soak in vinegar and water and did my best. And I think it came out pretty pink. And on here you'll see that there's a... Uh, I use silver around there's the silver and that same metallic of the gold I bought those f for uh, making my Christmas angels I just used it on here since I have plenty of it okay and then she bought me the yarn bee scrubology scrub it in aqua I made up one whole scrubby, two whole scrubbies. Mine's in the kitchen, already been used. This is her, her whole one. And then I had some left, and I made just a, one layer with a handle. And she had gotten this pamphlet from Hobby Lobby when she went and got the items for me to make up these things. And I used the pattern on the back for these scrubbers. Okay, and then she bought those are finished project finished items. And then this I made for myself for my kitchen washcloths. It's, I just made a round of double crochets wide enough to that what I liked, and then I back looped to bring it up, and I did double crochet. Double crochets or half double crochet? Double crochets, I'm sorry. Double crochets. And then this was a double crochet. An X, double crochet. Then a row of double crochets. Another, two rows of double crochets. Another row of X's and double crochets. X's and O's for I love you's. And two more rows of double crochets. And I finished it off. I put a little loop on it to hang it on my wall. I'm not going to worry about tucking that in because it's just for my kitchen. I don't have the yarn band, cotton band for it. It's made out of this cotton here on a cone. I um, had this for years. I don't know where I actually got it from. When my grandmother passed away, I inherited some yarn and cotton, uh, yarn and uh, hooks. And I guess that's where I got it from. Now here I have this work in progress. It's made. It's going to be made with this sugar and cream scrub off. It's a four weight. And the color is spring blue. I'm trying to make a hand towel. Just my own little pattern. I have all these stitch markers so I will lose my stitches of course love my stitch markers and I made this 
to put a bar of soap in or something. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it like that. I don't think I'll just take it apart and use it to finish off that towel. All right. Now, my other work in progress is Crystal at Bag O' Day Crochet. I love her to death. Oh, my gosh. Her and her family is so sweet and funny. I love Mr. Bod. He's hilarious in his dad jokes. But it's going to be that beautiful shawl that she has up. I'm using uh, Red Heart with Love Metallic. And the color is Rose. It's a four weight yarn. Recommended crochet hook is a K. And knitting needles is a 9 US or a 5.5 millimeter. You, it's machine wash and dry. Show you the symbols there of what it, you can and can't do. It's 99% acrylic and 1% one other, 1 other fibers. Other fibers would be the metallic in it to make it sparkle. I had this yarn for a little while. didn't know what I was going to make with it. And then whenever Crystal put that tutorial out, I was like, ah, I had the perfect yarn for that. And with that, I am using the K-hook. She says... In the videos as well, if you use a four weight yarn, you use a K hook. Well, my four weight yarn calls for a K hook, so it's perfect. Okay, now on to a going to be project. Going to be using this scrubby yarn that my mom bought, along with the towels and the other scrub uh, cottons. I'm going to be making a soap holder and maybe a little scrubby with it I don't know I haven't gotten that far yet uh, the recommended crochet hook is an eye and the color is ocean here we go it's a four weight machine wash and dry and it comes with a pattern inside and the red heart with love comes with a pattern inside the scrub off comes with a pattern inside I'm not yeah it has a hand towel in it but I'm not using that I'm using my own pattern to make the hand towel I think that was all of the ones that um, had patterns inside well, that's, so far that's what I've gotten done in the little time that I've been away. I'll try to do more videos. I've been having issues with uh, making videos and them being too long to post on my phone. So maybe I figured it out using my uh, tablet. If you like my video, please like it. Comment down below if you liked my items. If you want to see more of these kind of items, give me ideas of what to show um, and subscribe to my channel I do appreciate it and I'll leave you with love hugs and prayers bye